Hey everybody, Matt with Valer here. Recently we've gotten some requests for a guide on how to use the automatic whitelist tool. So today I'm going to explain what it is, how to use it, and how to set it up. Uh, first off, what is it? The automatic whitelist tool allows you to control who can play in your server. Essentially what it does is when it starts up, it connects to your Archon, and if somebody joins a server that you have not added to your list, it'll kick them. And you can make that kick message whatever. You could say join our TeamSpeak to get on the whitelist, visit www whatever site.com to get on the whitelist, however you want to configure it. The whitelist works by checking each person's GUID against a list of predefined GUIDs. So if you add yourself to it, you'll take your GUID, put it in the list. When you join the server, it sees you've been authorized and lets you join. So to use this mod, you have to make sure it's installed first. If you don't have it installed, first stop your server, go to Mod Manager, scroll down, and install the automatic whitelister tool. Once you have it installed, go ahead and go up to the top here, go to configuration files. Once that page comes up, right at the top you'll see there's two different configuration files for the whitelister. First is the normal config, and then there's the actual whitelist.txt, which is where you're going to put the GUIDs of players that try to join. So let's go ahead and look at the config file first. There's not much you can change, but there is a few things. I uh, will start off with right here. You can change the interval, how often it actually checks for people if they if they're on the whitelist or not. Default's usually really good. It kicks people good and fast. It doesn't give them a chance to actually join the server. And right here, you can set up a custom kick reason. So make that whatever you want. And most of this you can ignore. Uh, if you go down to the bottom here. This is a custom message that will come up in-game when somebody joins. So once you add people to the list, every time they join the server, it will announce them in the lower left-hand corner. It will say, you know, so-and-so has joined the game. You can make the, uh, the actual custom message whatever you want. Once you make your changes here, click Save. And we'll give you an idea of how this works. Uh, let me go ahead and join this server right here so you can see. I haven't added myself to the whitelist yet. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see the, the video here or not for the game, but we'll find out. And bam, not on the whitelist. The custom message I just put in didn't show up because I, had, I never restarted the server, but if you restart the server, your custom message will show up there. So now, how do we add somebody to the whitelist? Well, in order to get their GUID, this tool actually makes a log for you. The log will show you everybody that's tried to join and give you their GUID. So to get that, go up here, go to your log viewer, and we need to find the whitelist log. Um, I haven't cleaned my logs out in a while, so there's a lot of them here. Let me go ahead and find that. Right here, whitelister slash console dot log. You can go ahead and click new window. You can also download it if you want to get some older data from it. And right here we have my GYD. So you go ahead and copy that. Right in the console window, you can highlight it and go Control C. Close the window. Go back to configuration files. Go to the whitelist.txt. Hit text editor. And when that loads up, you can go ahead and put the GUID in. You put one per line. And if you want to comment the line so you know whose GUID is whose, you go slash slash. And we'll just do that. And that'll, that way you can keep track of who belong, whose GUID goes with, with what person. Once you add it, click Save. And once you add somebody, you actually do not need to restart your server. So, so we'll see here. I go join that server again. And this time it does not kick me when I join. And that's all there is to it. It's really easy to do it. Some people like doing this, some people don't. I can create a lot, lot of work for you. I've personally done it on a couple of my servers for a long time. I require people to join TeamSpeak to get in. It's a really good way to control the flow of traffic on the server. If you're having hacker problems and you want to provide a, a cleaner experience for your players and you're willing to put the time into it, running a whitelist server is a really good way to, to get some popularity and provide a really clean experience. You're not going to stop all the hackers, but chances are you're going to stop the, the random ones that like to go from server to server griefing. If you have any questions about this process or if you have any suggestions for future guide videos, please leave a comment down in the bottom. 
Again, my name is Matt with Lair. I appreciate you watching the video. If you need any help or have any questions, visit our TeamSpeak. It is ts3.valair.com or submit a support ticket on valair.com. Thank you for watching.